this here. You better come up and have a look. There's something alongside. Probably one of the latest kind of submarines. All right, be straight up. Well, where is this monster of the deep? this place last year on a cycling holiday with my wife. Would it be a good idea to contrast the modern methods of fishing with the old? Look at that. Could be back in the 17th century. It's good. Very good. Look at the texture of that brickwork. Hundreds of years in it. Most of those boats are over 50 years old. Really? Don't build them like that nowadays. No. It's uncanny. These men work purely by instinct. No equipment, just years of experience handed down from generation to generation. And the, the amazing thing is that only two hours before this, our underwater detector reported nothing in the area. Mayday, Mayday. Deep Space Probe 87 calling. Deep Space Probe 87 calling. Control receiving, come in 87. 25 UFOs, Matthew. Concentrating in area NML 12. We have been seen. Three UFOs approaching. Taking evasive action. ESP 87. Come in. Come in. 87. Can you hear me? 87. Come in. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? That that fish. That's strange. They're only found in the mid-Atlantic, never around our coasts. I say, we've found something here. Uh, did you notice that fish? Uh, have a frame taken from the negative of that shot and have it blown up as soon as possible. Right. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. Hmm? But I was so intrigued with your picture that I nearly forgot I have an appointment to meet the backer of our next oh, film, and I'm already very late. No, I quite understand, Mr. Straker. You have a very good film there. Oh, thank you, Mr. Straker. Get an underwater cameraman down there first thing tomorrow morning. Hmm. I think we may have a very interesting new dimension to this film. D-47, 
Deep Space Probe 87 has been destroyed. They saw a buildup of UFOs in area NML-12. NML-12? That's only four hours away. I've alerted all stations. Good. Mass UFO attack. Our defense screen will knock out at least half of them before they even get into the Earth's atmosphere. Doesn't make sense. Maybe they expect to get them all through. No, they know that's not possible. Unless they've got something else up their sleeve. Look, put Space Observation Platform Watchdog in that zone immediately. Computerize every scrap of information it sends in, no matter how small. All this way, just to photograph fish which shouldn't even be here. You must have more money than sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you do see any, shoot about 200 feet from about six different angles, okay? Okay. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Loud and clear. Do you see anything? Not yet. Strange. The deeper I go, the warmer the water. There are fish are here. Several different tropical kinds. Must be this warm water. See something else? It's like a flying fish. It's large. Silver. Are there any sharks in this area? Yes. Turning towards me. Here, give us a hand. Come on, give us a hand. been cut. And you say that he was photographing fish? Yes. A species peculiar to the Mid-Atlantic and never before found off the coast of Cornwall. Did anyone check to find out about sharks in this area? I did, personally. I was assured that they very rarely came to that part of the coast. And the occasional one that did was quite harmless. But the air pipe was severed. Very well, that's all, gentlemen. As soon as our investigations are complete, I'll call again to discuss the claim. Good day to you. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must go and see this with Yes, of course. If there is anything at all that I can do, please let me know. Thank you. Lieutenant Anderson, get me skydiver. Paul? That cameraman said something about large silver flying fish. Now, last week, the freighter Kingston was sunk here in the mid-Atlantic by missiles like flying fish. Mm. And the species of fish off Cornwall are normally found there. You think there's a link? Well, it's too much of a coincidence for there not to be. Skydiver, boy, sir. Captain, I want you to proceed to the area where the freighter Kingston was sunk. I'm having full instructions prepared for you, and I'll contact you in 30 minutes. This is Space Intruder Detector. Relaying report from Watchdog. UFOs maintaining position in area NML-12. Take it under the seabed. Let's have a look around there. What's the latest on Watchdog? No change. UFO still in the stationary position and showing no sign of movement, sir. What the blazes are they waiting for? Well, Colonel, what does the computer think? Well, with so little information, it's reluctant to give an answer. But when I insisted, it said they're either waiting for A, reinforcements, B, bad weather to negate radar, or C, long operations of defenses, namely shadow control. Well, we know there are no signs of reinforcements, and the weather forecast for the next month is excellent, and shadows certainly won't cease operations. I suggest the next batch of information you feed in, you add a drop of castor oil. How's the water temperature? 15 degrees higher than the surface. Still rising. Maybe the volcano is active. No, we check that. Get shadow control. Yes, sir. Skydiver for you, Commander. Thank you. Yes, Captain? We're in the search area. Thought you ought to know. 
Water temperature near base of volcano, 30 degrees higher than normal. I see. Well, thank you, Captain. I'll call you back in a minute. Have Colonel Foster bring in that report on the underwater cameraman, will you? Yes, sir. Thanks. Another link. Listen to this, Paul. The deeper I go, the warmer the water becomes. Get me skydiver. Take a look at this, Paul. The deep water around that volcano is a lot warmer than it should be. Skydiver. Captain, I want you, by using your temperature gauges, to follow that stream of warm water. Try and find out where it leads to, and if possible, what's causing it. Report back to me every 15 minutes. Very good, sir. You know, I have an idea. They'll finish up just about here. Cornwall. Yes, and the fish follow the warm water. Exactly. Lieutenant Anderson, what's the latest on Watchdog? Lieutenant Anderson is on 24 hours leave, sir. Last report from Watchdog via Sid received three minutes ago. No change. Thank you. Stop engines. Temperature rise of three degrees. Captain! Evasive action! Periscope depth. Slowly. All right, sir. Captain, resume your original search. Oh, and Captain, watch yourself. Yes, sir. Well, it seems a UFO has been using that volcano as a front door to the Atlantic. And Skydiver also found the reason for the rise in water temperature. What was that? An undersea cable. The UFO was using it as an energy supply. Because they can travel underwater on their own power. Yes, for short distances. And you think this one has been to Cornwall? Well, it looks that way then there must be an energy plant under the volcano. And if the water temperature is so high, it's generating a lot more power than is needed to drive one UFO. Yes. Well, I wonder what skydiver will find at the end of that cable. <laughs> Uh, nothing, sir. 
I've been right round it, but it appears to be completely smooth. Any sign of an entrance? Not as far as we can see. Ah, uh, let's go down and have a closer look. Dive. Lieutenant. You know Colonel Foster. Well, I think a cup of skydiver coffee would be just great. Come on, Paul, let's get our water wings on. After you've dropped us, get out of sight, Captain. We'll rendezvous back here in uh, 45 minutes. Yes, sir. stuff under a microscope. Maybe we can find out what that thing's made of. What did you see, sir? Afraid I can't talk about it at the moment, Captain. You'll find out why later. Yes, sir. Take us up. Surface. I want you to stay by that dome, Captain. Report anything unusual, if necessary, but only as a last resort, blast it out of the water. I'll contact you as soon as I get back to Shadow HQ. Very good, sir. Watchdog. No, Would you tell Colonel Lake I want Lieutenant Anderson's psychiatric analysis right away? Yes, sir. Still can't believe he's a traitor. Oh, he 
can't deny what we saw with our own eyes, can we? Answer to question one. From Anderson's psychiatric report, I can find no reason for disloyalty. Answer to question two. As you insist upon asking questions without giving sufficient information, I can only supply unsatisfactory answers. The most I can say about the last question, is there any link between the undersea dome and the massing of UFOs in area NML12, is, if there is any link, it can only be connected with my previous answers. A, reinforcements, possibly the dome is a construction to house UFOs. B, it contains elaborate equipment to be used to change the weather to negate radar. C, it is there to bring about in some way the non-function of shadow to allow the UFO's uninterrupted entrance to Earth's atmosphere. Hmm. Well, that's a mass of useless information. Yes, I agree. Is there any way, Colonel, of rephrasing the questions? We have asked the questions in 12 different ways, sir. Each time the same answer. There simply isn't enough information. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry. Now, look, Paul, we're not going to be able to find out anything until we get inside that dome. As soon as the analyst report has been fed in on my knife, let me know. Yes, sir. We'll do our best. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. What were you doing in that dome? I don't know what you're talking about. What were you doing in that dome? What dome? The dome we saw you in. We saw you in that dome. You couldn't have spent the last 24 hours at home. Witnesses. I told you I was by myself. What were you doing in that dome? I don't know anything about what any dome. What were you dome. doing in that dome? Oh, there's no sense wasting any more time, Paul. Doctor. I was never in any dome, whether you saw me or not. I don't know what this is all about, but the answer better be pretty good. How long, Doctor? Another five seconds. I think I'm about ready. Now, what were you doing in that underwater dome? I don't know anything about an underwater dome. Where have you been for the last 24 hours? I've been at home by myself. Did you sleep? Yes, I slept. Did you lock the doors? Yes, I locked all the doors. Why? I've been burglaries in the area. Have you ever been to Cornwall? Never. Look, doctor, is there any chance he's resistant? No, no, no. This drug is infallible. Another shot. One more. Sorry. us about the dome I don't know about the dome I don't believe it there's only one way to find out what's inside that damn dome the doctor yes you'll be all right put lieutenant Anderson on the lock and key still stationary. The estimated number has increased to 50. Watchdog maintaining constant observation. The deposits on your knife indicate that the substance from which the undersea construction is made is of a molecular structure unknown to us. But my conclusion is that the entrance could be made by pressure. The rupture would be self-sealing. Thank you, Colonel. I hope the answer is satisfactory, sir. Colonel Lake, look, I do understand the problems, and the answers are satisfactory. Thank you, sir. Will you please ask Colonel Foster to get his bags packed? Captain, Commander. 
Now let's go down. Yes, sir. Dive. Sorry to have to keep you in the dark about all this, Captain. When I tell you why, I'm sure you'll understand. Lieutenant Anderson is a traitor. He was inside that dome. Anderson? It's no possible. I'm afraid it's the truth. Now, Colonel Foster and I are going to try to get inside that thing. I have no idea what we'll find. But I want you to stay within range. And if we're not back in one hour, destroy it. But come on. No buts, Captain. If we're not back in that time, we won't be coming back anyway. One hour, understand? Yes, sir. I think it's better to travel light. Fifty-three minutes to go. Well, let's see what wonders await us down here. security less than two hours ago. Yeah, well, maybe they forgot to lock the door. Look, I'm going to try and find out what he's up to. Yeah, I'll do some investigating myself. A good idea. Look, we got 44 minutes. I'll meet you back in the equipment at 20. Right. See anything, Paul? Yeah. <sighs> 
Dr. Livingston, I presume. What happened to you? You. Look. How? I don't know. I guess we'd call it some kind of plastic surgery. But why? Uh, that is the question. Anderson, think what we've done to him. After this, we've got to stick together, Paul. Come on, let's hide it. this way. As good as any. You've been here before? Yeah. Sure looks familiar. But why? Shadow control to Sid. Shadow control to Sid. Come in, Sid. Shadow control to Moonbase. Come in, Moonbase. Moonbase receiving you, Shadow Control. UFOs approaching from NML-12. Do not attempt to intercept. Repeat, do not attempt to intercept. Do not understand. Do not understand. You say do not intercept. Is this correct? Correct. Commander Straker's orders. UFOs to be dealt with by Earth's defences. Over and out. Do not intercept. Is this correct? Correct, Skydiver. Commander Straker's orders. UFOs will be dealt with by ground defences. Over and out. Right. I plan to take over a shadow control and use it to let those UFOs through. But where did they get our voices from? Well, they've obviously been recording our communications. By using the words they need and putting them together, they can make us say anything they want. 
And why all this elaborate miming? Well, you forget. Like you've seen on the TV screens. Come on, Paul. Let's go. Load the tubes. Yes, sir. Split up. That way one of us will stand a chance. Okay. Whoever gets back first stops the countdown. No, no, there isn't time. They're ready to make their move. Good luck, Paul. Good luck. minutes. Only another eight minutes. See Commander Straker. Yes, sir. The massed UFOs are moving out of area NML 12. Must presume attack course. Any sign of the commander? No, sir. Torpedoes. Torpedoes armed, sir. Fire two. Yes, sir. Fire two. Two away, sir.
heading for Earth at attack velocity in two waves. Message received. Commander, they're on the way. Control to moon base. Attack and destroy second wave of UFOs. Red alert! Red alert! Interceptors immediately! Skydiver. Shadow control to skydiver. Attack and destroy first wave of UFOs. Understood. Possibly we never will. It could have been some form of X-ray photography, but uh, at least they won't try that again. Don't bet on it, Paul. 